Welcome back to another episode of Gundam The Witch from Mercury. First episode, what happens? Country Bumpkin gets a fiancé in the form of a wife. And I'm like, a wife? Girl, girl, you going the Yuri route right after the Licorice Recoil? I'm in. Second episode, we lose the wife, kind of. The duel is considered moot because they say, that's Gundam technology, that's Bandy, right? It's like, no, 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 it's it's actually it's actually a, a drone. That's what we're going with. Everything look about it looks like a Gundam tech that we banned a long time ago, but it's a drone, don't worry about it. Third episode, another duel. We beat Quill again, but this time, we have a husband. The first episode, Gwell was introduced as such an arrogant douchebag that seemed to be born into a position of power. He's pushing everybody around. He's bossing everyone around. And I hated him. I hated him so much. This fucking guy has the... He Didn't he do something to our uh, mutant as a tomato garden too? And then what do they do? They bait us with that imp first impression of him just being such a douchebag. Third episode, we, got, we start to empathize towards him because his dad doesn't trust him. His younger brother doesn't trust him. His entire entourage doesn't seem to trust him. He's just there for a political gains, right? Again, this entire thing is based on results. If you can't produce results, you're nothing. Even if you're my son, Papa's gonna smack him up and side down and say, hey, we don't actually need you fighting. Just sitting there, we got the AI tech. He didn't tell him that. Once he realizes that the AI tech is fighting on behalf of him, Gwell's like, what am I even doing here? This is pretty sad. I'm thinking, Zuko, not really, but the first person I think about when we have like father, son, you know, redemption or kind of thing going on from like a bad person to a good person. This person I think from Zuko from Avatar, The Last Airbender. But at the end, we did overcome the AI. I, I forget exactly how. I think he basically just punched the machine and it's like, okay, it's not working anymore. Then he fights by himself. Soleta gives him credit. He recognizes that. Oh, pretty good fighters. That's something positive going on for Guel. But at the end, Soleta of course wins because her tech is just better in every way possible because it's forbidden Gundam tech. But it's just a drone, by the way. And then he proposes to her. The lighting, the everything about his eyes, it's changed, right? He seems like he's reformed already by episode three. There's no more of this douchebag, like, pompous frat boy attitude anymore. No, he's completely reformed. It's the point he proposes to her. Is he serious? Did he just actually just fall in love like that? Is that even... Is that feasible? Why am I arguing? This is fucking anime. Anyways, we have seemingly Miodine a wife and... Gwell as a husband, but don't forget there's that other guy that seemed to have interest in Suleta The guy that said I'll never fall in love again I thought he was gonna be the main guy interest, but now we have Gwell going on So are we gonna have two main guy interests? What are we doing here? Why is this all just a rom-com? It's not a rom-com, but there's a lot of ship pairings immediately I thought there'd be some kind of more talk about you know like an episode zero the I guess the state of war and how bad everything is and how Gundam it's anti-war uh, themes, right? But so far, it seems like we're just going through the harm route. Whatever. It's it, it's it's actually pretty good because it's a female lead character doing the harm. If it was a ma it's, it was, if it was a male main character, I probably feel a little bit cheesy about this. But because it's Saleta and she doesn't have that kind of like um, she's not going for the harm route. She's just being pushed into this position, and the, she's just getting wife and husband candidates just thrown at her. So it's like. Whatever, it's fun, but let's start with today's episode. Now he proposes to her. <laughs> Why? Because he was compelled by her... Uh, uh, aerial mobile pilotness? Uh, <laughs> everybody's listening. They can hear this, huh? This is actually huge. His, if his dad... Because, like, marriage is used for, like, political games in this kind of game. Wait. What do you mean not like that? What do you mean that she just runs away? <laughs> Wait, she bad out and got in her suit and went away. <laughs> Yo, a rejection where the girl runs away is pretty probably common in anime, but a girl that goes into a Gundam suit and flies away. <laughs> what do you mean not like that? What do you, what do you mean not like that though? What does marriage in this context mean? They're dropping the sun. <laughs> yeah, I mean. From the outside, it does look like, you know, the head of the dueling council's son lost to a country bumpkin twice. It does look pretty bad. You gotta drop him, I guess. But that's your son, man. It's all business. Her outfit doesn't fit her. Is it too big? Well, what? The holder has a special uniform and a unique pilot suit. What? Wait, what? Cause oh, and my bridegroom, by the way, cause she won the duels. She oh, she gets to wear the special suit. <laughs> God, I kind of took it from Guel. Is it Guel? Hello, 
so let's talk about the marriage. What did you mean by marriage? Okay, oh, oh, dude, come on. Okay, and uh, he. I bet he's peaked Tsundere too. What are you. Wait, he just. Still bows to her though. Okay, it's new. Never mind. Bo Wait, I'm. He's being so respectful towards Miurine only. Nothing for Soleta. But you proposed. I. But the marriage. Was it all just a show? Like a. <laughs> Sit down, dude. You're at the class is about to start. <laughs> okay, but. I guess the marriage was just for show. For dad. Okay. Never, never, okay, never mind. Uh, it's not like I like you or anything. Is that that kind of thing? Or is he just just not into it at all? Is this the pink hair girl? I think she is. The really rambunctious Earthian that just hates Spatians. She's probably the most racist out of everybody. <laughs> For right reasons? I don't know. Can you... Is it... Is it good to be racist against a main group that hates on a smaller group? Probably not. Racism just bad. Uh, why did her? That's a landmine. You okay? Uh, I'm sure she's fine. I'm sure she's fine. They make they're laughing about the landmine. Okay, I'm like, Jesus. okay, here we go again. The racism from Spatians to Earthians. Please. She's not like the rest, but there's she. She's gonna okay. This is Earth House. They're like dorms. But I bet Choo Choo and Suleta will become good friends. Patient. <laughs> but I bet they will become good friends. Father's taking away everything from him. His younger brother is kind of on Guel's side. I thought that maybe he was also, you know, gunning for that spot. But, okay. He seems to actually be family. No, Choo Choo will help you. Who is it? The, the other guy. The other guy. Yes, yes, him, 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 him. <laughs> Mr. Ellen. Wanna help us, Mr. Ellen? You just walking around reading us? Why? Yeah, we need some friends. You wanna be my friend? Spatian house? No, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. I'm down. Choo choo. No, it's me, Where were we? He's an enemy. Members of the three branches. I feel like he's not in that political game, though. Yeah, I feel like he's just born into that position, but he doesn't care. He's a prince. Suleta doesn't can't read between the lines, but also there's nothing to read between the lines right now. So she's right in this in this aspect. He also fed her. <laughs> he also fed her that one time. But I guess Choo Choo's not gonna help us. I thought maybe Choo Choo and um, Suleta might get along really well because. They're Spatian and Earth yet. Shoot you hate Spatian. But Suleta's not like the rest. And because Suleta's not diff she's different, Chuchu will learn, you know, to not hate all Spatians because Suleta exists. I thought that's kind of the theme we're going on, but I, I okay, we're not going that route right now. What's going on here? Some politics going on with Spatians and this is not too different from what's happening, you know, in protests all around the world, except they got fucking mobile suits to do this. Like, usually they only have, like, people in, like, you know, like, like the cops and just, like, regular, like, SWAT armor or whatever, but... Damn. Her family back home? Aww. And they're probably working so hard to, you know, earn enough money to send money to for tuition here while she works here, but then those are probably her, like, family back home who has to work in those, like, shitty conditions that we just saw. Obviously, she hates Spatians. It just looks like Spatians are so evil. They're the main power-holding class, and they just enforce Earthians into shitty labor. You know, this is a... This kind of commentary really mirrors what's happening in real life. It's no different. It's just class warfare. Because she, she's going to get expelled for... You have a dream? Tell me about your dream. 
You wanna found the school at Mercury? We have no idea what Mercury is like, but we've been kind of just told that it's just like a country bumpkin side, right? Mother sent... Did mom really send Soleta here for a simple education for her to come back and make Mercury... Well, her... What she said was to make Mercury thrive. But I assume there's an underlying revenge plot, you know? Or unless I'm wrong about that? I really thought that there was a vengeance plot since what we saw in episode 0. Wait, what are they doing? That's the spaceships again! You didn't... We asked for help and she said fuck off. What do you mean? We're just trying to get some help, man. Choo choo, come on. Not all spaceships are like that. No, what what Miorin is saying is kind of correct. She, it's, it's it's too black and white. She's thinking all spatians are evil, but it's not the case. Are you any different from the spatians that look down on Earth and if you are gonna like direct that kind of same racism towards Suleta, right? Fail again. Can we can we try again? How many times are we allowed to try this? Are we just gonna keep trying until it works? I guess we are. But, like, we are doing this completely blind. Fail. Try again. What is this, like the fourth time? Fourth time's a charm, guys. Fourth time's a charm. Fifth time's a charm. Fifth time's a charm. <laughs> Sixth time's a charm. Sleta, don't give up. No, she's giving up. Come on. It's not like you to give up. Hmm? You, she doesn't want to stand up, but you are really standing out with the whole their uniform. But right now, no, no, don't. You're really not graduate if you quit. Come on, if you quit now, shoot you. Come on, will shoot you help us somehow? Yeah, I'm still just breaking down like this. Yeah, what about your dream? What about your checklist? I thought you want to go on a date. Yo, these girls, man. Clap him, choo choo. Clap him. Oh! Oh! That was just a straight up punt. That wasn't even a slap. Give her a punch, too. Choo choo. <laughs> Yo, that actually just punching. I thought it'd be like slaps or something, but oh my god. It's nice to see Choo Choo fighting on behalf of another spaceship like Celeb. <laughs> Yo. Another one right in the jump. Ooh, these are some aggressive punches, man. Who's more tuned to Chuchu or Guel? I don't know. They're both pretty tuned tin. It's not like I want to join my house or anything, but I'm your senpai now. They better not be setting me up for Chuchu's death right now. I'm getting pretty invested in Chuchu. Like, I swear to God, if she dies. And that's the episode. Well, I guess he was just doing, you know, will you marry me? So when he said that in the beginning, he said, not like that. As in, everybody is watching. Therefore, he wanted to put up some kind of public display to say, fuck you to dad. I guess that's what he was doing. Because he's saying that um, I don't actually like you. And he seems to mean it. He's still being very respectful to muting it. But I guess Guel and Soleta, it's not really a thing yet. Elan is still there. Eran is just, I don't know what he's into. He's just completely emotionless. And he said that he'll never fall in love. And that's why he's probably going to fall in love with Suleta at some, at some point. But it's too early. Miurina and Suleta still doing a nice thing. But this episode is more about Choo Choo, you know? Choo Choo and Suleta. It's, 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 it's not a completely, you know, her character development's not there yet. But obviously the whole thing that they're going here is Choo Choo hates Spatians because how Spatians treat Earthlings. And it seems like on a... On a broad range, right? It does seem like the Spatians really do treat the Earthians really, you know, really poorly, right? They're very racist against each other. And then Choo Choo also obviously just kind of fires back. I think it's deserved, but not all Spatians are like that. And what Miorina said, if you are going to act as racist as, you know, the Spatians does to Earthians and you act the same way against the Spatians, are you any different? That's a good question, right? That's a very good question. And how is she going to figure out that's wrong? Through Soleta, because other Spatians that exist, like Soleta, are different from the other people that, you know, Chuchu just hates so much, but damn, 
Those punches to those girls, well deserved. Oh my god, this is some satisfying punches. Anyways, if you stick around the song, and if you'd enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm gonna say. Check out the other videos and playlists to my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, that helps you to buckle push up my style channel to be recommended so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.